Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to Chill Town. I just, I can't stop thinking about this game. So we're playing some more today. We finally got our house. So if you didn't see the last video, we built our house. We also got some tools and we built a bridge and we went and checked out some lily ponds. But yeah, we got our house today. I want to go inside. I haven't actually seen what it looks like. Oh, that's my mailbox. It says it's all empty. Okay, that's fine. Let's enter our house. Okay, so this is our house. Amazing. There's no there's no furniture. All right, so what have we got? Oh, we've already got some furniture. I see. Let's put our bed in. I think I'm just going to whack the bed over here because I don't really know where else I can put it. Yeah, it's it's a very small bed for a large room. Wait, can I, can I pick it back up? This is a very... This feels very strange. I don't know why. Now, I will say though... Okay, so we're going to put the bed there. Can I just place it? Yep, there we go. Pop this down here. It says change color, but I'm guessing I can't because I need something else to do that first. Oh, a chair. Oh gosh, where did it go? Where did my table go? I don't even know. Right, let's put a wardrobe in. Let's put that here. Let's put this here. I must admit the grid is a little weird. I'm not gonna lie. Weird placing things on the grid. I would like to possibly eventually see no grid. I think that would be nice. Whoa. Whoa, this is huge. Wait. Oh my gosh, where am I going to stick this thing? Here? I guess there. Oh, we've got this lovely shelf. This is... Oh gosh, where is it going? I just want to stick it in here. What else we got? Oh, we got an aquarium. Will that go on one of these shelves? This isn't the easiest of things to control, I'm not going to lie. Oh, can we not put it on like a, a middle shelf? No, okay, it's too big to go on the shelf, I feel. Like for me it is anyway, so I'm just gonna pop it there. I mean, that's kind of too big too. I'm just gonna shove that in here. It will do for now. Do we have anything else? Oh my god, oh, we have a stove. This is the worst looking house you'll ever see. Until I'm able to decorate it properly with like furniture that matches and you know, different walls, because these walls aren't what I would choose. A spatula. Where am I going to put the spatula? Can the spatula go on the wall? Where's the spatula going to go? Can we put it on the shelves? Yeah. We're going to leave the spatula, I think. Now, what else did we have? We had some more things. I think these are for outside. Oh, that's huge. I'm guessing that's for outside. Let's go outside. We've done enough in here. I want to put the pond down outside. I think the pond would look really cute somewhere. Let's see. Oh, see? How cute is this pond? Oh, it's so cute. All right, I love it. Now, what we're going to do today is do some more of the quests. So we have to contribute 15,000 sail to Tutu's community project. We also have to buy the wooden shovel. I don't remember how many coins I have. Is this what I have? 3365? Because that's quite a lot. That's a, that's a lot of coins. We're going to find all these flowers as well. We haven't actually found any flowers yet. Oh, Oh yes, we were talking to you last time. You have an exclamation mark. Hello? Anyone new joining us in Chilltown in the near future? Oh yes, it's just like clockwork. I thought with all the racket around these new residents moving in, you'd have your hands full for sure. Even the fishers started acting different when they realized new people were on their way. You have talked with the mayor, right? We all get set to work when it's time for newcomers to show up. You wouldn't want to miss out on all the fun now, would you? Okay, so I'm guessing we need to go talk to the mayor again. But first of all, I want to find this flower. Oh, I see a flower. Requires shovel. I can't just pick it up. Okay. All right. I'm guessing I have to go buy the shovel. It was from up here, wasn't it? It was from this person with the stool. Oh, but the child wants that. I don't really want to give it to him. It looks a waste of money. Hello. Do you know if anyone's arriving in town soon? Darn straight they are. Word on the street is we're set to have new imported residents moving out onto the island any day now. Have you talked with old Mayor Otto about that yet? I bet the farm he's going to have a task or two for you to do before they get here. Thankfully, I don't have a farm here. Hee <laughs> hee, just my shop. Welcome, can I help you? Yes, I want to buy something. Okay, where's this shovel? Wooden shovel, that's what we want. We want one of those. Buy, yep. Oh, you're buying a shovel. You're planning on doing some digging. Maybe plant something. Yes, that's what I thought. Shovels bring back memories of my daddy, Thomas, his name was. He was a true farmer at heart, always tending to his crops and animals. His farm was back on the mainland, a beauty everyone in the southwest region knew far and wide. Rows upon rows of shining vegetables, tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, not to mention the smell of fresh juicy strawberries and watermelons. Anyways, sorry for the giveaway. I'm just excited to see someone as excited about farming as my daddy was. Let's go see. Oh, I hope this child doesn't keep it. Wait, can it be? You actually got a shovel, but no one has ever done anything I've asked them. This must mean I'm the most powerful kid in the world. Uh, no, no, don't 
don't don't go that far okay boy don't don't go that far this is an amazing development on my way to becoming a real explorer but enough waiting and let's see what we can get all you gotta do is find something sparkly in the ground and dig it up you better show me whatever you find too we are excavation partners after all now okay buy a shovel go back to boy dig sparkling spot in the ground at least he doesn't keep the shovel it lets me keep it right where was this sparkling spot there it is dig oh what did we get i don't know what we picked up let's see money oh i've got to show him haven't i i've got to show him i remember it was me just like trying to bag the money for myself whoa it's so freaking cool you found that in the ground you definitely be able to sell that for a good amount in town since you dug it up yourself you should keep it good work excavation partner right so now i'm gonna go sell it i'm guessing to you because you have- oh gosh, we were inside the building. I'm guessing you'll buy it because you have an exclamation mark. Oh, howdy, welcome back to Mercantile. What can I do for you? Oh, ask about crops. Okay, this is nothing to do with what we wanted to sell. Ah, oh, you're eager to learn about farming, eh? Well, you've come to the right place. I picked up a thing or two from Papa back in the day. He was a farmer, you see, so I suppose I can show you the basics. First things first, you can use a shovel to dig a hole and plant a seed, or you can plant a tree and cover it with soil. Now, most plants can grow on their own, but daily watering will help the plant grow healthier and produce the most perfect crops. And trust me, those perfect crops are something special. They can be used to make all sorts of delicious recipes, and you'll have the residents of the island talking about your culinary skills. To get started, I'll give you 10 tomatoes and 10 potatoes to plant as a little incentive. Once you finish planting these, I'll give you the old keepsake of mine that should help with your future farming endeavors. Ooh, I want to know what it is, but I won't say what it is until you're done. So go on and get your hands dirty. Ooh, okay, so we have a goal for today's video. Great, we're gonna do farming. We're gonna be a farmer farmer. You also have an exclamation mark on your head. Hello. Do you think we'll be seeing any fresh faces here soon? Uh, I hope so. How I get so excited when we get new neighbors. It only seems like yesterday that you stepped off the plane. Have you noticed the new petunias sprouting this season? They add the sweetest aromas to the air. It will be absolutely perfect to welcome our new friends. Be sure to talk with Mayor Otto as soon as you can to make sure your part of our welcoming committee is taken care of. Okay, everyone's winning go speak to the mayor so let's go <laughs> let's go speak to the mayor right hi mayor hello you wanted to see me so i hear new residents are moving in oh you must have heard the news melissa the island really comes alive when we get the word of new residents coming to join us, doesn't it? This might be a particularly special occasion for you, actually. You see, I can't tell you how impressed I was with your handiwork fixing the bridge. So I thought to myself, Melissa would be the perfect person to serve as lead construction worker on the new resident house. Would that interest you? Of course. Oh, that's just grand. I still can't believe how great of a teammate you are. Now, in order to get started, you'll need an important item, a building permit. Oh, okay. You'll need to decide whether to build the resident's house and of course you will need all the necessary materials before you begin as soon as the new house is completed we'll give the green light for the new residents to fly in sound good oh and since you've been so reliable with all your tasks on the island go ahead and keep the building permit for as long as you like whenever you feel like building more houses we'll welcome in another resident to the island thanks for all your help we all appreciate your hard work thank you <laughs> okay I think that's all the quests we've we've gathered. Let's go. Let's go do our work for the day. I'm trying to figure out where I can sell this coin. Can I sell it to you? Like, will you buy it? Welcome, can I help you? Uh, I have something to sell. Can I just sell this? Oh, apparently so. So I think what I want to do is I want to get a start on farming. I think I might put the plot here. Do I have to use these? Could we have these little planters? Do we need these for anything? I'm not sure. I'm just going to place them down anyway. I'm going to place them down and hope for the best. Oh, did we only have one? I think we only have one. Do you know what? In that case, I think... This is going to be one of those things that's like for a vase or something, isn't it? So we're not we're not going to bother with that yet. Let's just do what we're supposed to do, which is dig up some holes. So where should we put the crops? I think I'm going to put it here. It's a little bit fiddly. Just a little bit. It says five, ten. So if we've got ten of each, we want to make sure that we grow every single one of these. I will say one thing. I'm very thankful for the little square. Although I just messed up. <laughs> I'm very thankful for the little square that highlights which box I'm going to be digging on. Otherwise, I feel like this would be very difficult. Oh, I'm glad you can walk through the crops. Because sometimes when you plant things like tomatoes in games, you can't walk through those. It's a little bit annoying. And it's not really anything too serious. But oh no, that's not where I wanted it. Can I dig it back up? 
I sure can. So now we've got to go talk to Mika again. I'm wondering if she will give us a watering can because we don't actually we don't actually have a watering can to water the crops yet. Also, I want to go get that flower in a second. The time seems to have gotten away from us. It's quarter to five already in the evening. Ah, howdy. Welcome back to my mercantile what can i do for you i planted all my crops well you don't say well a deal is a deal here's an old keepsake of mine which i think you'll find comes in quite handy it's gonna be a watering can right tell me it's a watering can yes i'm so happy it's a watering can don't know why i just am um, that should help you speed up your watering process oh and one last thing if you ever go out and about exploring different islands be sure to bring back any new plants and crops you find to plant oh okay once they're harvested you can sell them to me and i'll make sure that they find their way to residents and tourists of our little town good job and happy farming oh that's so cute i don't know why i'm so excited to get a watering can but honestly look at us Look at us just run with it. I wonder if you have to fill it up or if it just stays full automatically. I guess we'll find out. Oh, okay. So it does four at a time by the looks of it. Oh, it depends which way you're facing because it didn't do all of these. Oh, well, look at that done now i want to go get that flower since we have a shovel now because it said we had to dig it up and i wonder if this is the flower we need there it is i see it sparkling in the distance right, i'm gonna fill the hole back in because i'm not that person oh wildflower plant i think this is the one i'm gonna take a couple because you never know when you'll need them is that a snail it's my snail now oh look at this beautiful field i bet this looks so stunning in the daytime by the way how many of you are playing chilled town at the moment how many of you bought it or how many of you are excited to see more of chilled town and oh what do we get table set nice how many of you are excited for chilled town anyway let me know let me know your thoughts oh i see another little shiny thing that's mine Oh, lamp. Wait, is that one up there? Oh, no, that's just a snail, right? That's a rock. We'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine. I'm not going to go all the way back up just for the rock. We haven't been around the other side of this pond yet. So maybe we'll go around there. Also, I might try a little bit of fishing. Maybe not now, but I might I might try a little bit of fishing. By the way, you might see me flip between controller, mouse, and keyboard. Yes, it is me doing it. It's not just the game doing it on its own. I'm just trying to figure out how I prefer to play it. How I feel most comfortable. Oh, shiny. I'm more of a controller person, but I'm also trying to be more of a keyboard and mouse mouse person. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how I go. Okay, so we're collecting things. We've got a rock. What's up this side now? Oh, we could have just got the flower from here because there's one here too. Is this wheat field? This is wheat field. Oh, we all know how I feel about wheat field. I think what we're going to do is we're going to head to Rosa, give the flower to Rosa and then see what happens after that. And then we might head to bed because it's just easier to play when it's lighter in the day. I just that's what I prefer. Anyway, let me know what you prefer. Do you prefer to play games when it's nighttime on the game or do you prefer to play games when it's daytime? Let me know your thoughts and your feelings towards daytime. Also, I need to know a thing as well. What do you prefer in games like this? Do you prefer irl clocks or do you prefer the game to have its own 24 hour clock what do you prefer rosa welcome back can i help you oh found last batch you wanted right great job finding that stunning wildflower melissa as promised here's a unique fence design for you now for the next step in our gardening adventure i'd love for you to build a garden using at least 30 fence segments this will be the perfect space to showcase the beauty of your newfound wildflower let me know when your garden is ready oh to build a fence you'll need a hammer if you don't have one yet you can try visiting mika's store we have a hammer right i'm pretty sure we have a hammer there's our hammer <laughs> we don't really want to walk around with it though what i think we're gonna do is oh maybe we should place this house where should we put this new person though i don't want them to live too far but i also don't want them to live too close i can move it eventually i remember it saying that i remember it telling me that i can move oh we get to choose which house i kind of like these houses but i think i'm gonna go for this one just so it's different to mine if we stick them right by the bridge that could be kind of cute now let's go to bed we gotta wait one day for the house to be built you know what i'm excited for pathways that's what I want. Pathways. Yep, I want to sleep. Okay, we made 3,500. We got 34. Whatever that is. I don't know. Whatever it is, we got it. Oh, it says get up now. Lovely. They fixed it. I love that the devs are actively working on this game. 
to get it perfect. Should we go see if our house is done? Oh, there's the house. So it does take a day to do. Let's collect things for the day. Let's go do our little daily chores. Also, we have to water our crops. Although they're already sparkling. Does that mean they're watered still? We can build our fences. Should we build them around the crops maybe? I think building them around the crops is probably a good idea. I'm sure we'll be able to just get rid of them again, right? I will probably be changing the layout of this when I know where it's gonna go 100%. I'm normally like that in every game. Oh, we got two more pieces to put down. You know what, this will do. It looks like it's a gate. Okay, the planting of flowers is very difficult. Unless there's an easier way and I'm just being really stupid and I don't know. Do you know what will probably be easier? If I dig a hole and then try and plant the flower, will that be better? Oh, yay! Okay, so if you're struggling to place your flowers, dig the hole first. Okay, from scientific proof, we have figured this out. Look at our cute house. Oh, it's so adorable. Okay, I love it. You, however, you need to come over to here now. All right, I want to put this flower over by my house. Just because I want it to look very cute, very spring, very pretty. It's not going to stay. Like, we all know that. We all know what I'm like at this point. I can't wait to get more confident and comfortable with the decorating on this game. I want to play more and more and more, but at the same time, I also don't want to play it without recording it because I know you guys might want to see it, right? Get rid of that hole. So we have placed our fencing. Goody, goody, goodies. Oh, is it going to rain? It has come over all gray and miserable. It's raining. Oh, yay. I don't know why I'm so excited for the rain. Oh, you have a question mark above your head. Hello. Hello there, friend. Do. I've told you all my brain knows about fishing. If you got more questions, ask Minato up at the place near Lake Serenity. But you had a question mark. Oh, he's gone. Completely disappeared. Gone. I'm gonna do some fishing. This is a big fish. I don't think it's gonna be caught with this rod because didn't he say this is for basic fish? I'm pretty sure. Oh. Well, this isn't a basic fish. This is a letter. Oh, it's a letter? Occasionally while fishing, you might come across a bottle that could contain a letter or new recipes. Now let's head to the inventory to check it out. Okay. Read. What is it? Hi, Mr. Welcome and thank you for becoming a member of Chilltown. Low high technology. Oh, that's so cute. After reading the message, it will automatically be, be stored in the letter app of your phone. So you can revisit it whenever you want. Do we get no recipe though? Just a letter. Oh, that's cute though. Thank you from the devs. I kind of like this. What is this about? This is like a pile of rocks. Let's go talk to Rosa. Wait, the house is built. Oh, okay. So many things I want to do. So many things. Let's go speak to Rosa first. Ah, you're back. I can see you in hard at work. Your garden looks fantastic with those fence segments. Now let's take it to the next level. Here are the special seeds I've prepared for you. Plant them in your garden and let's watch as it blossoms into something truly magical. Can't wait to see the results. 20... 20, 20 wildflowers. You've got to be kidding. <laughs> what? I'm going to plant 20 wildflowers. There's that big flying turnip. Come back. Oh, please be a pet of mine. I want to adopt you. Why keep running? Don't run away from me. I just want to love you. I guess we could just go see who's in the house. Wait, there's more little ones. No, come here. You belong in my pocket. I just want you as a pet. Come on. Give me. Yes. You're mine. Wait, there's another one. Can I pick you up? You look like a tomato. Please. Why must you run from me? Look how cute you are. I really should stop chasing things. Has someone moved in? I'm just going to walk in their house. I bet their house looks better than mine. You watch. Oh, no. This house doesn't look better than mine because there's no furniture. I'm leaving. Okay, things we have to get done for the rest of the day. We need to plant all these flowers. This is going to be a mission. But we've got this. So I'm going to quickly plant all of these flowers. I think if we plant them around the cliffs, they might look nice. There's me like, I don't want them to look nice, but I also do. No way, my shovel broke. Are you kidding me? I was just getting on with it and my shovel just went, nope. What's this person doing? Hello? Who are you? He looks like he's a bug catcher, maybe. It, oh, it's two. Oh, howdy, neighbor. You come to bug me again? Maybe. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm in the middle of catching some bugs myself. Are you much of a bug collector? Maybe. I love the, like, really short answers we're giving him. Oh, don't be shy. These little critters can fetch a pretty penny at the market. Starting your own collection ain't half bad either, if you ask me. Pretty little things they are. Now, in order to catch these arthropods and insectoids, you're gonna need a catching net. Fortunately for you, I got an extra one lying around I could part with. However, it's not gonna be free. If you want to have my catching net, it'll cost you two whole fish. Up for the challenge? 
You bet. Now that's more like it. When you've caught your two flapping fish, come back here and let's make a trade. Why flapping? Why did he say flapping fish? That made me laugh. We got this. We could, we could do fishing. We're pro at fishing at this point. We already have one fish, right? Or we want to catch two more. Oh, come back. Pets you. I want you. Give me you. It's mine. Am I supposed to be keeping these? Or can I just sell them? Is it cruel to sell them? We have three. Maybe it is cruel. Maybe it's cruel to sell them. I don't know. I'm just trying to make money here. The flowers shouldn't need watering, right? Because because it's just been raining. I mean, these might need water. But if I'm just planting these all around. <laughs> like, it will do. If it doesn't look cute, tough. You can plant them on the ramp. Wait, what happened? I don't know what happened there, but we picked it back up. It's done. Yay. Oh, wait, you just got watered. How can you not be sparkly? Nice that I don't have to fill up my watering can. I will say that. Okay, that's all watered. The flowers are all planted. We need to water some of them because, you know, the rain didn't touch those. So I've got to do this. Got to do your work. If one gets missed, it doesn't matter. Although it does because I just went back and did it. Let's go catch these fish so we can get a bug net. And then we'll go back to see Rosa. Although, do we need to- We need to go talk to the mayor. I think we better talk to the mayor before he closes up. Because didn't he close at like 4, 5 o'clock last time? And I was just like, why? Hello, mayor. We did it. The house for the new resident is complete. Oh, wonderful. That's music to my ears. And just in time for her arrival. I got so excited that I took the liberty of booking her ticket once I saw you putting on the final touches. Let's head down to the harbour to greet her. Oh, we're doing this now? Hear ye, hear ye. Oh, residents of Chilltown. I have a former announcement. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm only half as formal as I look. Everyone, welcome to the island, Ella. Let's show her our world famous Chilltown hospitality. Hello. Welcome to Chilltown. Pleasure to meet you. Wow, thank you all. I feel so overjoyed to be here. Now, Ella, Melissa has done a splendid job building your new house. But if you need anything else added to your dome, you just let us know, okay? Oh, that sounds wonderful. As a matter of fact, Melissa, can you add any decorations to the houses that you you've built yourselves whatever you like. You can add any decoration to houses that you've built yourself whenever you like. We all trust your taste in interior design, so we're excited to see what ideas from home decor you come up with. Be my pleasure. So I'm decorating houses too. My oh my, I wasn't expecting a personal decorator when I arrived too. Thank you in advance. However you want to spruce things up will be fantastic, I'm sure. Well, enough of logistics. Welcome to Chilltown, Ella. We got a reward. Hello. Who are you? Who are you? Are you Ella? No, this is Cuckoo. Passport, please. Let's chat. I know I can be a scatterbrain sometimes. When it comes to getting things done, I'm your girl. I don't have a passport. Oh, I'm so sorry. The harbour is only accessible for individuals with a valid passport. All right. <laughs> I'm not allowed to leave yet till I get a passport. So now that we've done that, let's go talk to Rosa. And then I want to get these fish. We planted your flowers. Your garden is a masterpiece. I'm so impressed. As a token of appreciation, I wanted to introduce you to some additional fence designs. Oh, stop it, these. Stop it, these. Are you kidding? Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this path. Take a look at these patterns they can transform the look of your garden. Feel free to purchase them and experiment with different styles. It's a great way to enhance multiple gardens or refresh the current one. Happy gardening! Now I gotta go fishing. Oh, is that what the, this is gonna look like? Oh, it's so pretty. I want one. Can we just jump off the side? I have not seen a single fish yet. Speak too soon. And there's a fish. We got it. Oh. What do we get? We got a black spotted grunt. Perfect. One more fish. <laughs> Here's a fish. I must admit the camera is weird when you go fishing. Got it. What fish is this going to be? A tiger fish. Okay. Right. This game definitely needs to fix some of the little mechanics there. That's okay though. It's all good. It's all good. It's not game breaking. Doesn't break the game. Where's this guy? Where is Doo? Ah, I smell the fish on you from a mile away. Have you come to make a trade for my bug catching net? I don't know if I should be offended that you just said you could smell me a mile away. That's not too good. Right, yes. <laughs> Great, now let me take a look at what you got. Well now, these are two real grilled beauties. A deal's a deal. I get the fish and you get my bug catching net. 
Oh, right. What's a supporter bug, Nat? Oh, by the way, I overheard Mayor Otto talking about another one of his 10-year plans again. Apparently, he wants to make a catalogue of all the island's creatures, and while insects would definitely be included in that, you should swing by Town Hall and ask the mayor if there's anything he needs to help with. Okay. All right, we gotta go back to the mayor, although I think he's going to be closed. Because it's five. It's half five. Didn't he close at five? Oh, no, it's still open. Ah, oh, hey again, Melissa. Want to speak with the mayor? Yes. Perfect timing. He just got out of a meeting. I heard you need help compiling a catalogue of all the creatures on our island. Oh, thanks for reminding me. I was going to come find and ask you if you had to, any time to help me with that. You know, not amongst everything else you've asked me to do, Mayor. Now, not so many people know this, but, but before becoming the Mayor of Chilltown, I was actually a biologist. You used to spend all day out in nature, getting your clothes dirty studying wildlife. You bet your bippy, Mimi. I was quite good at it too. Now that I'm running an entire city, though, I haven't had quite the amount of time that I would like to catalogue all the animals here, but I absolutely need to. Having a robust wildlife classification could be just what we need to attract new residents. I mean, I like bugs, so yeah, I could see that being a thing. That's where you come in. Would you be willing to devote some time here and there collecting all the animals on this island? Of course. Oh, thank you so much. You really are such a great neighbour to have here on the island. All right, I just sent you a link to a creature catalogue app. It's called Critterly. Wait, you have the app already, Mayor? When did you do that? I know I may not look like it, but I'm capable of handing technology to Mimi. Well, I must say, Critterly is a catchy name for an app. So kudos there, boss. Speaking of catchy, all you need to do is go around the island and catch all the animals and bugs you find. Whenever you catch one, Critterly will be updated automatically. Even better, you can see your progress at all times. Don't worry about filling up the entire app right away. Just do whatever you want to do around the island and catch bugs and animals whenever you get a chance. Honestly, that sounds like the best job in the world. And I think we have found perfect person for it. Thanks a million. There we go. We gotta get all the bugs and fish. Oh, hang on. It wants me to open the app first. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we got fish. We got bugs. We got furniture. Oh, is this gonna be all the furniture? You're kidding. Oh, my. Look at all the furniture. Right, don't you get too excited. Oh, this. See, this counts as a bug. So, planter kid is a bug. You're a bug. You're a bug. I don't wanna see these. This, this, and this. I don't want to see you. But these, these could be kind of cute. These, no. Now, what do we have left to do? Wait for the harvest of planted crops. Vital flowers for Rosa. Contribute. Okay. We could obviously go to sleep. Or we could catch some fish. Actually, what is in my inventory that I can sell? Can I store things do i have storage like is that a thing do i have do i have storage i'm gonna have to go see oh, okay so your, yeah, your storage is in your house so like animal crossing you can store things by just being in your house so that's good this tree is kind of bugging me so it's gotta go goodbye tree <laughs> you gotta go i mean i'm guessing they'll just grow back I don't know. I don't know how it works. Maybe we have to grow them back ourselves. I kind of want to catch a bug. You know, we have this net and I haven't caught anything yet. Granted, we did get it late ish in the evening so maybe that's why it's actually 8 p.m it's 8 p.m on the island kind of want to see if we find any bugs but i fear that the ones that come out at this time of night are going to be the spiders the undesirable ones that you want to run into the ones with many many legs and possibly pincers we don't want any of those also i'm kind of scared that they're going to get me and i'm not going to see them like i don't know if they get you i'm just assuming oh <gasps> What do we get? Fountain. Oh, yes, please. We love a fountain. What's what I mean? Do these boxes just respawn every day? I don't know. Also, who is that? Who are you? Who are you? Oh, this is Do, isn't it? Mayor Otto is right, Melissa. You really have a knack for building. Okay, thank you. I think, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to head home. I'm going to head home and I'm going to sleep and we're going to go to the next day. Okay, it's the next way. What's going on? Hey, Melissa, come to Town Hall to meet me for a moment. I have some information for you. Why did the phone sound like that? If my phone went off like that, I'd probably cry. By the way, I love our little house. It's really cute. Oh, we got to water the vegetables. The mayor is going to have to wait. Although they seem to be sparkling still. So maybe that means they're okay. Well, to the mayor we go. I might keep my net out just in case we see some bugs along the way. I really want to catch a bug. Bug catching is one of my favorite things in games. When there's bug catching, I'm so happy. I don't know what it is. I just like doing it. Love bugs. 
Hi, Mayor. You wanted to see me? Is it possible to upgrade the house I've built? Oh, you're interested in home improvement? I cannot get enough of your ambitious personality. It's infectious. And absolutely, we would be grateful for any additions you wanted to make to your house you've built. Yes, go ahead. Build to your heart's content. All you need is the sufficient materials. With your builder's permit, you can build whatever you like. Oh, before you dash off, how about you go and check in on Ella at our resident service centre inside Town Hall? Thanks again for all you did to welcome her to Chill Town so warmly. I've decided to make our resident services manager. She's proved herself to be a true ace when it comes to juggling administrative tasks. So I thought, why not make her a lifeline for our residents' need? Anywho, she's got some vital nuggets about her new program we're implementing, and I think she'll do a better job explaining it than I. All right, she's over here. This is the new person that moved in. Hello. Oh, hello again. Oh, look at the cute little heart in her hair. So the mess sent you my way, I see. Pardon the mess. Have I got quite a task here? Ensuring our beloved residents are well cared for. It's a full-time job and one that needs a touch of formality, which is exactly the reason why Mayor Otto wanted to establish our town evaluation program. Let me tell you a little about it. It gives us a town rating determined by two factors, the growth index and the landscape index, and together they give us a star rating from one to five, indicating how well Chill Town is doing. Now, the growth index is all about buildings and outdoor decorations. More homes, public structures like museums, outdoor decor, they all boost that part. And the landscape index, that's about the greenery we plant, excluding farm crops. Things like natural trees, flowers, and even the lovely craftable decorations. So every little thing you do, to spruce up the town counts towards increasing our score. Together, we can make our town a five-star paradise. Well, that's all for now. I'm sure you're going to do great. Okay, so we've got a five-star rating. Rating thing? I've sent you the town profile app. Use it to check out every aspect of evaluation program progress. Okay, you can check things on your phone. That's handy. Town profile. Okay, this is, this is my steam. Thank you for posing my picture. Uh, landscape index and growth index information as well as stars will be displayed here for you to check anytime. The detail will be updated daily. You can update the town's profile background here as well as publicize the town's information on the internet so that others can find it and when you reach two stars or more. Oh, like you can visit others? Oh, that's fun. Okay, so island tours confirmed for Chill Town. We will be doing island tours. I don't know how it works yet or when it will work. I'm gonna have to look at their roadmap and have a have a better look. Maybe we can share the roadmap together. That could be a fun little video if everyone enjoys this series. And then we could possibly share some Chill Town islands. We could do some island tours. How cute would that be? Absolutely adore this game. It's like a cross between Animal Crossing and Dinkum in a way. Maybe less so Dinkum. I think the only thing that reminds me of Dinkum is the camera. I really think it's cute. I like this game a lot. Oh, I found a little box. What's in here? Oh, what's a mango? I don't even know. I don't know what a mango is. I'm sure we'll find out when we put it down. Look at these cute little areas over your house. Can you just drop off? Boom. Yes. See, I like that. I like that I don't have to go all the way back around to the ramp to go down. I will admit, I hope there is a, a run button. Like there's not, there's not a sprint Oh gosh, what are we doing? <laughs> I pressed this button. I hope they add a sprint button or if there is a sprint button and I can't quite figure it out myself, someone tell me, but I really would like a sprint button. You know, even if it's just running a little bit quicker, I would appreciate it. Oh, it's another little box. So I guess they do spawn every day. Oh, a bed recipe. Nice. I mean, I don't know if they spawn every day or I just didn't see them before. There could be a possibility. If anyone knows the answer, let me know. I see a bug, but it's in the water. How am I supposed to get you? I'm going to have to go all the way around. It's going to be gone by the time I get there, isn't it? So we need to wait for the harvest. That one we can't really do. That's out of our control. So we just have to wait for that. Mine was the flowers for Rosa. I don't think I could do those yet until I can get to another island, she said. We could get the 15 sill. 15,000. I guess we could do that. If we can do that, we might be all right. I just want to catch a bug. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's my first time. Be nice. Oh, no. Did we get it? I did it. Papillo chicky. I want this butterfly, please. Oh, it's so pretty. Yes. And you, you're pretty too. Look at all these butterflies we're getting. Oh, what's that? It's mine. Mosquito. Wait, what is this? What are you doing? I want that dragonfly. Give me. Oh my gosh. I got it. I am a professional bug catcher. I told you I love catching bugs in games. There's something so satisfying about it. I'm sure some people feel the way, same way about fishing, but no, not me. I'm wondering if we get like little ladders or something to go on top of there, because how else am I supposed to get up there? Right? How else? I see more beautiful bugs. We're just going to have a whole bag full of bugs. 
and i'm not even mad about it oh it's raining a lot of the bugs are probably gonna go away i might sell the double bugs so the ones i have doubles of we have two of these so if we just sell one and we have two of these sell one because i don't know if there's gonna be some sort of museum i don't know by the sound of it that that other woman she said there was gonna be a museum oh there's someone in the shop I, was, I came in the grocery shop just to see it and there's someone in here now oh hey surprised to see me here instead of town hall well if there's one thing i've learned here it's that the change is only constant in fact as soon as the mayor assigned me to work in the grocery store my mind started coming up with all sorts of possibilities chill town is growing so quickly right so we're definitely going to need to upgrade this little grocery store and do a fully fledged mini mall at some point honey haven we could call it and the mayor approved my idea the only problem is it's going to take quite a bit of funds to make it reality would you want to donate to make it happen if so just stop by whenever and make a contribution it would really help amazing more stuff for us to pay for hey then melissa i've been hearing all about your marvelous work in the garden rosa can't stop talking about it to show my appreciation i've got a special something to spruce up your garden but it's a surprise before that could you lend me a hand i need to deliver this makeup table and mirror to ella's place she's redecorated and ordered a bunch of stuff but i'm swamped with inventory today oh and while you're at it could you just help switch out the wallpaper for ella she She's got her hands full at town hall and can't pick up her order. Rewards, lovely. We're just gonna go do them in someone else's house, eh? Right, let's go to her house. Let's go redecorate it. Right, we've never done a wall before. Also, her house has no furniture. Right, wall decor. Oh, you just do it just like that. Okay, it's easy enough. Right, let's leave. Let's go back to Mimi and then we'll let her know what we did. Oh, it's night time again. It's 6.42. I hope the shop isn't shut. Oh, it's open still. Maybe it's a 24-7 grocery store. You did it, Melissa. Ella's over the moon with her new setup. You've got a real knack for this. Now, as promised, here are your outdoor lanterns. They're perfect for adding a magical glow to your garden at night. Once you set them up, come back to me and let me know how it all turned out. I'm sure it's going to be absolutely magical. Okay, lanterns? Lanterns I can get behind. Yes. Right, where should we put our lanterns? Where should we put them? Are they in here? Here they are, garden lanterns. Hedge square has me all interested. Like, what does the hedge square do? I think we should put them either side. Oh, wait, I'm too far away. One here. And I want to stick the other one the other side. So cute. Okay, she wants us to go back to her. So let's quickly run back while it's night time. Before she disappears, it shuts. And we'll let her know we've done it. And then we'll go to sleep. I knew it closed wait she closed at six but we went in there at half six very confused oh well to bed we must go there's nothing you could do about it if it's closed it's closed look at our cute house i want to do more decorating let's go to sleep very quick the sleeping and getting up process is very very quick oh gosh it's that phone again <laughs> Hello, Melissa. We have some good news today. Come meet me at Resident Services office in Hall Town. Town Hall. Why do I read it as Hall Town? But you know what? I think this is a good place to end our second episode. I'm going to be playing more because I absolutely adore this game. I, I want to just build. I want to start building and crafting everything up. But obviously, it takes time. Also, it's raining again today. Aw, at least we don't have to water the vegetables and flowers. The flowers seem to be growing in quite nicely. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Come join the Jellybean family. Have the loveliest of days and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye!